How's it going everybody? Brody Kimo here from Reload Hawaii. Thanks for watching another video. In fact, you have reached the official bridge episode that's going to bridge the gun review half of Reload Hawaii and take you over to the whiskey review half called Short Guy Drinks Whiskey. That's this guy right here. So, when you see this logo, we're probably gonna be drinking. Before getting into the review of this awesome Woodford Reserve Kentucky Bourbon, I just want to bring it full circle. SHOT Show is at the ending of this month. I'm going to be going for two days. And with that information, I can plan my roadmap for the rest of the year. I know there are three firearms I want to try to get in. Uh, there's two by Ruger, the Ruger Precision 22 LR Rifle. I want to get that one in. They have a 9mm carbine and then High Point's 10mm carbine. What? Under $400. That thing is going to be sick. So with that, let's get on to talking about some whiskey. Oh man, that smells good. As I was looking at this list, I realized there's a big thing missing from here. All of these have to be aged at least two years in that brand new charred American oak barrel. So that's important. I'll probably put a sticker on here so as to remind everybody when they're looking at it, two years, two years, two years. Now we're going from the Tennessee whiskey over to bourbon. So there is no charcoal filtration process in bourbon. And it's arguable some people are going to say bourbon can only be made in Kentucky. I don't really care about that. I just want to see which one of these two I like better, or even if I can tell the difference. There's a few things I want to mention about the Woodford distillation process or process that they use to make whiskey. The first one being is that they use a triple distillation process, which is not unusual. But what is, is the distillery machines that they use, which are normally used in making Irish whiskey, which are these copper pot stills, and there's three of them. It looks like a little, well, actually a big Hershey Kiss, a copper Hershey Kiss with a flexi straw on the top of it. But normally used to make Irish whiskey, and I believe they might be the only manufacturer of whiskey in the United States that uses that process. Another great carryover from good old days are the use of Cypress fermentation tanks. That's from way back. Most companies now use stainless steel tanks. They're easier to clean, but they've taken it back to the old school because they're old fools and they're so cool. Let's get into the tasting. So I've been catching really sweet sensations coming out of this thing. Oh yeah, that, that oaky smell is perfect. And again, I call it bullshit by the way. I don't think it's possible to pull that many different aromas out of one tiny sample. There's just no way that you can pull cinnamon and butterscotch and apple. Maybe you can. I just don't get it. But this smells fantastic. There's not a lot of alcoholic burn to it. Well, let's give it a taste. No burn on it. This thing is smooth. I'd say right up there with the smoothest of Gentleman Jack, which was my second favorite out of the first Jack Daniels run. But I'd have to place it above Gentleman Jack. Not a lot of spice in here, but that's what that caramelization process, the burning of that oak barrel is supposed to do. It brings out the sugars of the oak, and because of the yeast, it produces different flavors. Their fermentation process is between four and six days, so it's a little bit longer than most people ferment. Oh, man, so good. So, I still don't think this is my favorite. I would have to say that the Jack Daniels single barrel is my favorite but I definitely would place this above Gentleman Jack. So here are my notes on the Woodford Reserve. This is a very easy drinking bourbon. It's a pleasure to smell this. Very sweet, not a lot of alcoholic burn, both on the nose and when you're drinking it. It goes down real easy. It fills up the tongue on every single part of it, the beginning, middle, and the ending, and just kind of goes down like silk. Very enjoyable. For somebody just getting into it, this is an excellent place to start. I would recommend this above the Gentleman Jack but still not as grippy and tasting as the Jack Daniels single barrel. So guys, that's the ending of this review. I hope you found it useful. Remember to like it, smash that like button as much as possible, share it as much as possible, and as always, I'll catch you guys later. And remember, Okole Moluna.